There's a bite. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Got him. Come up. He's coming up. Get this jump. Well, now he went back down. What have I got? Be a smallie. Wow, he's fighting hard. What a smallie, man. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Got him. Look at that toad. <laughs> oh, it's a giant smallie. My goodness. Look at that big sucker there. Hit my little rally grub. All right. I changed colors and I'll tell you about that a little later. But look at this. I have caught myself a whopper of a smallmouth bass. Ugh, son. That's a five and a half, six pound smallie right there. One of the bigger ones I've ever caught. That's awful. That's awful cool. Well, I'll tell you, I'm gonna take some snapshots of this fish before I put it back. We're releasing all our smallmouth bass so uh, they stay in the lake, but this is a great fishery right here. So hang on just a second, a quick snapshot, and then back he's gonna go. And away he goes. Hey, let me show you how that I fish for these small mouths. I parallel these shorelines. Now, I've established that the fish today are in anywhere from 18 to 22 feet of water, something like that. So what I do is I don't cast straight in at the shoreline, I look at my depth until I pull back and I find that right depth, which is around 20 feet or so. And once I get in that, then what I do is I cast downwind and parallel with the shore. So you can see I'm casting straight in front of the boat and I let that grub go all the way to the bottom, but I don't let it stay on the bottom. All these rocks, it'll get snagged down there. So as soon as it ticks the bottom, then I raise that rod tip high and I use mostly the reel handle and a little bit of swimming motion with my rod tip to keep that grub off the bottom and keep it moving. So you want to keep it moving, but you want to keep it a foot to two feet off the bottom, something like that, when they're down on the bottom like they are today. So again, let it touch the bottom, rod tip high, short little spins of the reel handle, little pumps of the rod tip, and just keep it just off the bottom, parallel with the shoreline, not at the shoreline, and that will keep your bait in that target, in that strike zone, the longest time that it can possibly be. Wow, what a great smallmouth bass.